Hello, all no respawns. Hope you're doing well. So, as always, back in the castle, and this is quite literally just a scatter video. Now, I do what I've actually done is I've done quite a bit of building uh, between since the last video. In the fact is that all the stuff that I built in the previous couple of videos, so the ramp and also the flats, um, apartments, I've actually built duplicates of. So you'll see, and I go in a sec, you'll see that I've actually done quite a bit. So you can see there. So what I've gone and done is I needed to kind of fill this little space here. And I wanted a few set pieces like this water tower from the Unlock 7 Objects mod. And also, we're going to show you in a sec, and also do a little quick run around of the settlement, is I'm going to put a little uh, kind of crow's nest. It really looks like Diamond City. That's really cool. So this video is kind of a bit of a scutterish one. But what I've gone and done is I do give you a nice little kind of slow tour of everything we've built already. So it's looking quite cool. There, If you want to know exactly what I've got left for the castle right now, um, by the way, the reason for this crow's nest is because I don't know what I can do with this little metal shit here. Like, it's just, it's kind of in the way for a building, so I thought, okay, I'll just have, like, a little crow's nest house. It's quite cool. It's quite weird. Also, plus, it, you know, when you come into the, what my main entrance to the settlement is, you can kind of see those things in the back. But, yeah, no, it's starting to look quite cool now. It's ever since I actually did those, kind of did the duplicate ramps and also the apartment bits as well it's really like wow it's starting to fill up i'm really excited to start working on the upper wall so what we're going to be doing next is actually doing kind of putting buildings on top of the walls so it has that that will be the third tier now on the second tier we've only actually got one more bit which is kind of behind us so if you're thinking trying to think of the area it's near where the where the actual official red workbench is, and that kind of area. Now, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to put there yet, so I might hold off for a video or two, just because I'm not sure, but we'll see. This crow's nest, I don't decorate. I don't actually decorate anything in this video at all, because it's not really, I don't really complete any buildings as such. It's more just kind of like scutter pieces, because I was like, right, I want to just kind of do stuff. Uh, but it does look pretty solid. It is, it does start, it is kind of feeling quite Diamond city E now. There is so much detail I want to put on this settlement though. Like in terms of billboards, shit like that. And I'm going to possibly have to, once I've done probably a few more videos, I might just do a video where it's just me just kind of going around, just going, right, I'm going to put, so you know where I'm putting like specific details because... I really want to kind of make it like quite flashy in the same way as 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 Diamond City because it is is kind of like following that vibe. I know it was initially inspired by Megaton in terms of the tiering, and I think that'll really kind of come to fore when we've got the kind of the third tier on top of the walls because then it'll kind of actually look like it's kind of in various levels. But it is really for me feeling a little bit even more so than like. Diamond City, which makes sense considering Diamond City is actually built in a stadium and also has a couple of two levels. So it's going to be quite cool. I'm quite excited. It's, it's, it's quite cool. It's also not too much of an FPS hog yet. Those you remember, or those of you who built big settlements actually, but those you remember my kind of older Sanctuary videos and also my last Castle Arts, it was a little bit stuttery. It does stutter a little bit when you've briefly exited the workshop menu, but this is mainly due to my mods, so it's it's pretty pretty cool. It's really cool. Uh -huh. I do have to um uh, sort the pathing path thing out. <laughs> I'll just say fuck it. Because what happens, right, is if you... When I hang around in this settlement for too long, I mentioned this in the last video, but it just makes me giggle. So all of the traders, people can get into my settlement really easy, but they struggle to get out. Now, that's not 100% true. As you can see, as we were leaving, the half-naked... Um, guard for one of the traders was leaving so they can sometimes get out but for some reason I don't know whether it's because they're pathing actually or just they're not trying so I'm actually going to ask you that because I was thinking about that earlier because basically all of my so all of the traders right so Cricket, the Doctor, the, the Armadudo all of them they all just hang around the centre so that they'll just be in here and then if I've been here for like say two videos worth of recording because I haven't said, done any questing since and they'll start kind of filling up and to the point where I'll have about 15 people in the central courtyard. So I have to sort out what's wrong with that. It might be the trading post bugging out. Also, what I've just done here, I, I should have just put these boards on first, but I didn't want to go back. And I was just like, I'm just going to do it this way because it's actually less time to do what I was doing. 
I basically, um, I actually knew what I wanted. You probably noticed I do a lot of the stuff here quite quickly. The reason being is I already knew what I was going to do. I was like, right, okay, I'm not going to do any big structure. I kind of want to just get these things in because they're quite nice little set pieces. Plus, I wanted a kind of slightly let's do some little details vid. But, so most of the stuff I knew what I was doing, but this part I completely... Okay, so the reason being is, is those little reverse junk fences don't actually cover up the foundation as much as I would like. That's the reason. Because I'm a bit of a mong. So I just kind of, like, unceremoniously pillar glitch these in. But then I should have just put some walls over first and put the thing afterwards. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So, yeah, literally, it's a bit of an odd one, this one. I haven't decided a name in the video yet, but it'll probably just be something not SEO friendly at all. Because it can't be asked. It is quite literally bits and pieces. <laughs> There's nothing specific. If I say I'm building a water tower, not true. Also, look at that weird glitch there. So this is my back doorway. Now I try something interesting. Firstly, the the walkway isn't straight, right? It doesn't match up straight with the doorway. And it's never going to. Okay. I mean, I probably could have, but it doesn't. Fuck it. Fuck it, yeah, just just fuck it. Whenever I I really noticed it after I finished and I was like, if I attempt to sort this out, it's gonna basically just I'll have to tear up everything <laughs> on this side, and I'm just like, nah, it just won't be straight. So for those of you who are really twitchy and OCD, uh, sorry about that, I guess. You'll just have to put up with it. But for those of you who aren't, yay. And those of you like me who kind of half and half then, yay, I guess. Oh, look, I fuck up the door in a sec. No. Oh. So another thing. So I'm going to do the castle battle. Yeah, I should be able to do it. I don't know how well it's going to work. Now, basically, it should be fine, I think, but I'm also suspicious that it... M I don't know, right? Okay, so there's uh, spoilers a little bit, but not very much. I won't just specific, but basically, the, the castle can get attacked throughout the main quest. And the quest is given to you by Ronnie Shaw, so the, uh, the Minuteman lady who unlocks the guns. And I believe she needs to walk some places, but I'm not sure. So what I mean by that is I'm worried she might have to actually walk to a particular point to actually instigate the quest. I'm not sure, because I did it at my original first ever castle, and it was fine. I'm not too bothered about the attack itself, because most of the Minutemen who defend from the attack are kind of, not static, but they appear on the walls or in specific areas um, and I'll probably just be on jet for the whole thing anyway so <laughs> it'll just be a slow-mo fight but we'll see it'll be a quite a quite a fun little video I won't rate it or anything like that because I'll just you'll just see me get absolutely high so one thing with this castle which you kind of see me doing here and I'm quite deliberately casual with it because I just want it to kind of look quite kind of boarded up is I want to hide quite a bit of the castle walls. I changed my mind here with my little doorway. I'm not sure if I like this. Let me know if you like what I do in a second with the doorway. Yeah, yeah it's alright. I, I basically do that, right? But except I sink it in. It's good, except it looks a little bit weird. We'll see. Anyway, back to me hiding bits of the castle. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm hiding. So what I mean by that is what I don't want you to see too much of the castle when you're walking around. You'll see what I mean when I'm, I'm kind of trying to do it here, or I'm just trying to, trying to put as much stuff inside so you don't see the castle walls as much. It didn't matter with my other versions of the castle, but for this one, because it kind of is quite a packed kind of little warren of little streets. I kind of feel as if I need to hide a bit more of the castle. So we'll, we'll see. It's just, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to do a lot of stuff, which is why I do wanna finish the entire courtyard, and there's lots of bits and colourful shit, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this this doorway, but we'll see. It's alright. It looks good from when you're coming in, but it doesn't look so good when you're coming out. It's fine. It's okay. So, I'm trying to think what the latter building... So basically, on top of the roof... Oh, not on the roof, on top of the walls is gonna be pretty cool, though. So I've got lots of plans for there for, like, farms. Uh, so I've got some, like, farming videos. The good thing about building on the, the actual walls is I don't have so much of a space limitation. They'll be quite thin buildings, but not really having to be cramped up in a certain small area. So that means the buildings on top of the roofs will be more... will be transferable over to other settlements, which is really, really cool. So I'm, I'm quite excited about that, because the last couple of videos have been quite 
this castle specific niche. They've done very well, because people like the castle videos, but they have been quite niche, kind of only work in this particular settlement, or work better in this particular settlement, shall we say. Let's look at this, see, so it looks nice. I just put that wee thing over there. The floor, the stairs works fine as well, so it's all grand. Just sink that in there like this. However, it does look a little, I think you do see me walk back in, so it isn't straight. It's a bit, it's a bit wonky, yeah? So it's fine here, it's all very grand. But then we go in, and you see what I mean? It's not, it's angled a bit weird. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do about that. It, it's kind of, that's a result. Actually, it's not really a result. It's my own dumbass fault for not measuring it so well. But it, it is basically just because I didn't pay attention. I thought it was straighter than it actually was. Sorry about that, I guess. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not that sorry, to be honest. It looks pretty cool. Otherwise, again, I'm still not sure about this box car. I just wanted a different colour, to be honest. I might put a few little details. So here is the tour. So, as I said, I haven't done very much building this video. It was a bit more of a scutter vid, where I just kind of, you know, did a few random chaff pieces just to kind of fill up that void there, because we can't really build there with all the rubble coming from the side near where the water tower is. I did also add in this wee little back alley bit here, but as you can see, it is quite literally just... I'll just peep my head around there in a sec, but it is just kind of two foundations and railings. It's it's nothing fancy. So yeah, it's this supplement is looking so much cooler than I was. It's basically, it's turned out differently to how I intended it, so it doesn't really look like, in a way, Megaton. It's gonna eventually have be inspired by the tiers, but it's actually, actually looks more like Diamond City now, as a lot of people have mentioned, and I'm really pleased with that. Look at the colour, it's got quite a heavy wooded theme, but I'm making an active effort to try and push a bit more of the reds and the greens and those kind of Diamond City, kind of just a bit more colourful, so you know, it's like with the different roofs with the shacks, things like that. Anyway, hope you guys like that. As always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. I have a new video up soon. We're going to see if we can really start working on the castle walls soon. I can actually have kind of a bit more unique structures there, which would be kind of cool, which would be more applicable to other, other settlements. Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. You take care.